welcome to today's episode of the Heaven and L podcast. I am uh, Elle Edwards, founder of the Itchy Soul Playground and Uria Media, and I am delighted to, to be here today. I was about to say I'm really excited about this one, but you hear me say that quite a lot. Uh, but I am, because today's episode really was as a result of a conversation that I had um, towards the end of last week, facilitated by a friend of mine called Tina. Uh, uh, if you don't know Tina Hester, she's wonderful. She does does these these sessions called Sozo sessions, where she where she facilitates you sitting and and listening to what God has for you and asking those questions. And I had the opportunity to have a mini little session with her, and and really, a lot of the work that she does is around when you're when you're when there's hurt and trauma and stuff that you're struggling with that's when you go to tina and i will put a link to her uh, facebook page in the comments afterwards because uh, i hadn't planned to share this piece of it but we're going to go there holy spirit obviously knows that somebody needs to connect with tina uh, so i'll put a link to her in the show notes afterwards uh, but when i had this opportunity i wasn't feeling like anything like I was in a place where I needed anything specific. And I was quite transparent with her. It was more of a case that we're stepping to this, into this new season. I feel like the last, as I've shared with you, the last 14 months, really COVID, has been this opportunity to really go deeper and explore just how good God is. And as we get ready for this next bit, I'll be transparent. I want to cover all bases. So if there's stuff that's niggling there, which I haven't dug into yet, I want to do that. And so really, it was a case of... Um, talking with God, with her facilitating, in a way to, to uncover any stuff that needed uncovering. What was really wonderful, though, that the, the biggest takeaway for me from that was that reminder from God that, yes, God said, yes, I am that good, and yes, it can be this fun. And yes, it is quite unlike what you were taught doing relationship with me was like when you grew up as a kid. Like Some of you know, I grew up in the church environment. Uh, my mum and dad are both Christians, and so we were sent to Sunday school and all the rest of it. So I grew up in a Christian home and prayed the prayer when I was 12. But this idea of getting to do life with God like this, asking him questions, hearing his heart, walking this out, brand new to me, blows my mind still. And one of the delightful things about the way that my mind is wired is that I get very easily excited, but also very easily bored. And one of the things that came up literally last week as a result of that time with, with God and with Tina was that the reason why it plays out like this for me personally is so that I don't get bored. So the reason why he keeps like un unpacking new things and go, hey, what about this thing? Is because he knows I get excited about that. And so I'm really excited as we move forward to walk this out day by day with God and go, what are you sharing today? Because then I get to drag you lot along with me and go, hey, this is this thing that God's unpacking. How cool is this? Let's unpack this together. It really does bring the play into the playground. And I'm really excited about that. But the reminder I had through that time, and it came up then as well, uh, when I was sitting with my notebook over the weekend, was just that reminder, this is different to what we, we, we were taught growing up. God really is that good, and he really does love you so, so, so much. And the reminder that, and the thing that I heard over the weekend was, yes, I'm brilliant, and this is wonderful, and you get to do life like this. Share that with everybody. Share it with your family, with your children, with anybody who wants to listen. And so when I was then saying yesterday to God, okay, what are we doing in the podcast tomorrow? Because as some of you know, from a logistics point of view, we do like I do like to have uh, a little sort of the announcement post that goes up on Facebook uh, with a little bit of notice. And so, okay, what are we going to do? And he's like, well, tell them that bit. So I'm like, okay. So I know for some of you who are following along, this is not news to you. You know that God is good. You have conversations with him. You ask him questions. You ask him what's on his heart. And so for you, this is a reminder. This is confirmation. This is uh, a permission slip to keep on doing what you are doing. Because life Yes, life has challenges. Uh, we, yesterday was my turn in church, in my local church, to, to share the preach. And we were, we were exploring suffering, which, as I said when I started it, is not really an L kind of word. But he'd been niggling around me and niggling me on it. In fact, I think some of you might remember, we dug into this a little bit uh, in the podcast last week. And so I will somewhere put a link to, to the, the podcast episode from church from yesterday. It was suffering and joy and, and, and how suffering is not our default like we i grew up with this idea that you know christians and we've got to suffer for christ and it was all very serious and yes if we redefine what we mean by that word suffering which is what we did yesterday in church 
hence why I'm going to link to it, I'm not going to repeat it now, then yes, you are called to step into that. But that's not your lot. You're, you are called to a life of joy. So yes, I know there are times in life when life is difficult. I'm not naive enough to to, know, to suggest that everything is wonderful. You do life with God and it's all a bed of roses. That's not the reality. The reality is that we do life and life is a mixed bag for everyone. And at the same time, when you're doing this life and life being a mixed bag, you get to do this with a God who loves you so much. And he is calling us into this new awareness of his love. You know, I keep hearing it's time for a revival of his love, a revival of how he wants to be known by us. That's exciting. And at the same time, we get to be a part of that. So like I say, if you're somebody who is already asking him questions, keep doing that. Keep walking this out day by day, asking what is on his heart. However, my real heart in this episode is for those people who maybe were a bit like me, uh, let me think, 18 months ago probably like this journey when I say this journey is relatively new for me I mean it like really okay so so if you're somebody who like me maybe about 18 months ago never expected to to be able to ask God questions and hear answers if you're somebody who thought that the people who like hear from God directly are prophets and like super holy people my invitation to you today God's invitation to you today through me is to ask him a question expecting an answer it's no coincidence that he nagged me relentlessly to get the Yuya book done because what's fascinating to me as we as we unpack this book and the Holy Spirit love notes that I write with, with God for the playground are written obviously with Holy Spirit but this is the first book that I really wrote with God aside from the Holy Spirit love notes and going okay what does this look like what does this next bit look like what was really fascinating when I read it back through through the for the editing process I'm like whoa this is really good you know and you can read something from a detached perspective and recognize that you didn't really have much of a hand in this piece. That's what it was like for me as I was reading through and editing the the, the Yuya book. So if this is brand new to you or you're just like, mm, just getting started, please, 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 please do download a free copy of the Yuya book. Because from people that I've spoken to who've read the book, they have told me it's a case of they read it and it's like, well, if, if he talks to Elle, he'll talk to me. Is, is basically what they said and they, they meant that with kindness because there isn't anything special about me I'm just me and so the, my heart for this book is that you will realize that he is whispering to you and talking to you and loving on you and all throughout July we're doing um, what Holy Spirit called the the Yuya book tour uh, and I don't completely still really know what that looks like uh, but I guess part of that is I have created a page where you can download the book for free. Uh, yuya.com forward slash download hyphen Yuya. That will be in the show notes as well. Uh, and yes, there's a on that page you're going to see if you want to, you can sign up for the Holy Spirit love notes via email. That's fine. But you don't have to. This is not a case of give me your email address. I'm going to give you a gift. I hate it when people do that. This is a case of look, go to this page. Here is the link. Click it. Have the book for free. There's no like obligation. You don't have to sign up for emails at all. You can if you want to. There's the option there. But really, more importantly, I just want you to get to, to read this. Read it with an open mind, with an open heart and keep asking God. There's loads of questions in there. So if you're brand new to this, you get that opportunity to to ask him questions expecting an answer you know it's the IER part of you here intentional expectant relationship so throughout July you're going to probably hear me banging on about this quite a lot I make no apologies for that uh, because I I hesitate to say this but I'm going to say it the book's important it feels important and I don't know what what God's plans are for it yet but my hope and my prayer is that if it if if nothing else if it just means that there's a few extra people who are having conversations with God and realizing oh, this is how much he loves me wow then that's just brilliant to me and equally if you know somebody who would benefit from it share the page with them like please don't think that oh this is only to be given to certain people anybody I don't care if I don't if nobody yes it's on Amazon people can buy it but I don't care if we don't actually sell a single copy if every single copy is just given away doesn't matter to me this is about as many people as possible really stepping into God's heart for them because he loves you so so much he is that good and you can trust him so uia.com forward slash download hyphen uia is where you can get the book for free and please do share it 
I don't know who I don't know. And so I need your help with this as well. But more than anything, this is your invitation today to do life with him. Start by asking him a question.